In this video, we're going to take a look at how to use V-Ray with SketchUp. We're going to assume you already have SketchUp installed, and here we have SketchUp 2020 installed on a Windows PC. First, download V-Ray. You can do this from your Chaos Group account. Details on how to access this will be sent to you in an email once your order has been processed. You can also go to download.chaosgroup.com to find all of the downloads there. Click the V-Ray for SketchUp button, we're installing for version 2020. If you click the download for another OS button, you'll be able to pick whether you want to download for Mac or Windows. We're going to download it for Windows. Once downloaded, find the file. This will be a .exe file on Windows or a .dmg file on Mac. Run the installer with administrator privileges. Read and accept the user agreement. Here you can select which versions of SketchUp you're looking to install V-Ray for. Most people only have one version installed, and we have 2020, so we're going to leave that one checked. Ensure the license server is checked, as you need this to connect your license. Only check Swarm if you're looking to render jobs on multiple computers at the same time. Finally, Chaos Cloud is a service that lets you send rendering jobs to a Chaos Group server meaning you don't need to use any of your own computer's resources to render. This is a really good service that you might be interested in if you'd rather not mess around with configuring hardware, or perhaps you have more limited computing power. There's a link to more information about Chaos Cloud in the description. Click Install Now. At this point, you may also be prompted to enter your username and password. If not, you can enter details later. This option isn't showing for us, because we have already activated V-Ray on this computer before. For the installer to work properly, you will need to close any instances of SketchUp you might have running in the background. Once installed, you can click Finish. At this point, you can also get rid of the original .exe or .dmg file if you want to. We can get a good idea if everything is working properly, by opening a web browser and going to localhost colon 30304. If you see this screen, the license server has installed correctly. If you aren't yet signed in to your Chaos Group account, click online licensing and then the green sign in button. Here you enter your username and password. Your username is usually the email address you used when placing the order and the password is one that you set yourself. If you don't yet have a password or you're having any difficulty getting in, use the forgotten password link here. Once logged in, you should be able to see this screen. Clicking the V-Ray for SketchUp button will show your licenses. You would typically want to look for the V-Ray for SketchUp line, and for the most part, you can ignore the SDK and other bits. Here, you can see which licenses are available and if any are in use. Now we can open SketchUp. You may find the V-Ray toolbars appear, but if not, you can check V-Ray is installed by going to the Extensions Manager. And there it is. You can also go to Extensions and then V-Ray to access all of the tools here. And to show or hide the toolbars, go to View, Toolbars, and check the V-Ray items that you would like. The Asset Editor is here. Chaos Cloud is accessible by clicking the arrow next to the teapot icon and going to the cloud icon. And local rendering is done with the teapot icon. If you have any difficulty installing V-Ray after purchasing from us, please feel free to contact us on support at cadsoftwaredirect.com.